Austin, Texas is a hot real estate market and it's very hard to find the 1% rule. But today I'm gonna to break down exactly how we found the 1% rule here in Austin and how we go about analyzing deals and finding deals that will meet some cash flow requirements for a hot market such as Austin, Texas. So I was cold calling a list of 10 to 100 unit apartment complexes, mobile home parks, storage units here in Austin. On like my third or fourth call, I got a hold of this seller. His name is Jim. I asked him, I said, hey Jim, I'm calling about 3205 Burleson Road. He said, it's for sale. 999-999-99. I want not a penny less, not a penny more, but I'll sell it for that number. I said, okay. It was uh, showing up on my spreadsheet as 10 units in Austin. I didn't know it was a mobile home park, um, but I said, hey, we may be able to give you that price. Can I come check out the property? And he said, yeah, go walk it, you know, go check it out and then come meet me in my office and let's discuss. So I called my partner, Matt. I said, hey, I may have found a deal for us. We went and walked the property the next day. We uh, checked it out. It was uh, pretty cool. It was a mobile home park. It had a retail spot up front. It was actually 14 units, not 10, like it had showed me on my uh, spreadsheet. So me and Matt, we walked it, we liked it. It was great location, had a lot of frontage road on a busy road, Burleson. And we went and we met Jim at his office. Jim was a storyteller and he proceeded to talk to us for a couple hours about anything and everything. He talked to us about aliens, talked to us about working for LBJ and politics and this, that, and the other. But we were there for one reason, it was to get this deal under contract. Uh, we weren't positive if a million bucks was gonna be a, a great deal for it or not, but we knew that there was some opportunity there. So we got Jim to give us the uh, rent rolls, he gave us the financials on it. Everything was written on a piece of paper. He didn't have you know, everything well put together. There's papers everywhere. He's an older gentleman and he had owned this for, I don't know, 20, 30 plus years and he owned a lot of property here in Austin. So anyways, we ended up getting under contract. We closed on it. The rents at the time when we closed, they were about 7,600 bucks a month. And again, this is a mobile home park. There's 10 mobile home park units. There's one house on it. There is another house on it. And then there's two retail shops up front on the frontage road. And he's renting out the mobile homes and the lots. So we got this under contract. We got under contract for 999.99. And uh, we had 18 months to close. This really helped us out because I think the land alone here in Austin, 2.46 acres off Burleson, three minutes from downtown, three minutes from the airport. The land alone was probably worth about a million dollars, but it provided all this cash flow as well. So we closed on it 18 months later. And the moment that we took over, we gave away these mobile homes. We did not want to own the mobile homes. We did not want to have to do maintenance on these mobile homes. A lot of them are older. So we deeded the mobile homes over to the tenants and they are now the owners of the mobile homes. And we are going to just rent out the lots. The lots were renting out for about, well, the lots and the homes were renting out for about $450 a month. So when we came in, gave away the mobile homes, we raised the rents to $750 a month just for the lots, for the mobile homes. We raised the rent in the house, we raised the rents in the retail spots up front, and we now bring in about $11,000 a month in total rents for this property. We bought it for $999,999. Purchase price was $1 million and we're bringing in $11,000 a month. So this is actually the 1.1% rule. Uh, the beautiful thing about this property is that we don't have to do any maintenance to all these mobile homes. There's no managed repairs. There's really not much groundskeeping. We do pay for water for the utilities and that's about it. So with property taxes, insurance, the water, we cash flow a good amount. It's about a eight cap and we bring in $11,000 a month we got a lot of cash flow and there's a ton of opportunity here. We've barely done anything to the park and we can make it real nice. We could subdivide it. We could build on it. We could do a lot of different things. But for right now, it's basically just holding on to land, cash flow in every single month and it, there's no issues with it. There's no worries. We never get any calls. The tenants are great. They're grateful to be paying $750 a month and we don't have to worry about it. We just sit back, collect the cash and move on.